ultimately, after this situation at the mall with the death row chain, fast forward to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Trayvon Lane points out Orlando Anderson, fight breaks out, and then soon afterwards, a shooting happens. Right. Mob James said that Suge knew it was consequences from the beginning. Suge knew it was consequences when they put the $10,000 on the chain. You know, a lot of people sitting here and, and if, it wasn't, if it wasn't for Suge, none of this would have ever, ever happened. Yeah, I agree. And maybe he did. Maybe he did, but he thought it would be futile because he's surrounded by, he's got these off-duty police officers, or who he believes are off-duty police officers, such as Frank Alexander. And then he's got Kevin Hackey um, and uh, the, the rest of right-way security. And then he's got all of these bloods. So for Suge Knight, he probably feels like, hey, and this was his perspective on things. This is the invincible death row, you know? Go ahead, take your best shot. Um, so he may have thought, yeah, there's likely going to be retaliation, but we've got that handle. We've got better numbers. We're, we're, you know, we're in place out here. They had a big entourage, and they were going to be on their home turf at 662. Right. Well, Reggie Wright said that. I didn't see him until about two or three hours after that incident happened. Uh, he was concerned about Pop. Um, this I love concern. To say that he was upset with me or anything like that, no conversations didn't come until later. There it is. So then shortly afterwards, uh, Tupac gets killed. Um, Suge gets grazed. And according to all the investigations that you've ever done, who was the shooter? Orlando Anderson, no doubt in my mind. Absolutely. No Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt. 100% uh, sure on that one. Who, who actually confirmed that Orlando Anderson did it o outside of the Keefe D situation? Um, who else was actually on record on, in any way confirming Orlando Anderson? So there were a couple informants from Southside neighborhood um, that, were, were, that were talking about it. Okay. Can you see who those people were or no? Um, well, there's, well, there was one guy. His last name was Brooks. He's deceased now, so I'm okay to mention him. Okay. You know, he was a witness to the aftermath when they all got back home and there's conversations going on and, uh, you know, Orlando's taking credit for it. And so you've got Orlando, the guy with the motive and who we now know was in the white Cadillac, not only based on Keefe D's statement, but based on what we have happening over at 662, which Mob James witnesses. Mm -hmm. And then now they're back at home the next day and they're boasting about the fact that, uh, that they had just killed Tupac. Why would someone who just committed a murder, especially of one of the most high profile people on the planet, admit to outsiders about this murder? Well, first of all, they don't think that we do. There's a different mentality among the gang culture. And they're not talking to outsiders, they're talking to people among their own who they perceive as being their trusted Group of right, but when I say outside, I'm talking about people outside that car. Yeah. They're still outsiders mm -hmm. at the end of the day. These are all people that could take the stand and testify against them. Potentially, but that's not the mindset of, of a gang member. A gang member believes that his crew is, you know, whether it's the guys you're with that night or a broader understanding of your own gang. Those okay. are your trusted comrades. Those are your, you know, your brothers, essentially. You know, if you understand and respect that gang culture, you know, they die for one another. And so it's not unusual whatsoever for Orlando to be boasting about that. In fact, that's how you boost your own reputation within a gang, is by committing crimes. Okay, but you're saying one of the guys that he boasted to, Brooks, mm -hmm. was an informant for the police? One of several. One of several. From the Southside Crips. So there was others in that, in that crew yeah. that was hearing Orlando say, I just killed Tupac that was actually going back to the police and saying, hey, I got something for you. In addition to a family member of Orlando Anderson's own family who early on was contacting detectives and saying, my nephew was likely involved in this. My nephew? Yeah. But you're not talking about Keefe D? No, he's a, he's a female. So Orlando Anderson's aunt 
was reporting to the police that her nephew killed Tupac? There was definitely somebody in that immediate family environment that was, I don't want to create continued issues for, you know what, uh, what takes place um, in these, everyone's going to go and try to figure out who this is. And right. then of course, you know, there's a responsibility on my part not to create harm for people. And, but yeah, this is, this is the way it played out. There was a okay. family member, a female, who was calling the police, ratting out Orlando Anderson. Was, was that female under investigation for other stuff? Absolutely not, no. She was just volunteering this information because she initially was angry she was, at, at, at no, Orlando? Initially she was volunteering the uh, information completely anonymously under an alias, Candy, but it took some time for detectives to figure out who Candy was. Was there any motive for her doing this? Yeah, I think that probably there's a, you know, a, she's not fr necessarily from that gang culture. And you start to realize, wow, you know, somebody's life was just snuffed out. Not only somebody, but a prominent, respected member of our own community, so to speak. And, is it, you know, and people are going to continue to die if somebody doesn't step up and put a, you know, put a stop to all this. Wow. Because you have to keep in mind, like, a gang war is going on. Yeah. And shootings are going back and forth between, you know, the Southside Crips and the Mob Piru and their expanded gangs with other Crips that they affiliated with, other bloods that they affiliated with. It's turned into a mini war. And so, you know, the best thing to do to stop that is to go back to, you know, the incident that okay. stoked it all.